Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. My name is Rahana Shahira Abdullah and I will present the first topic of this subject, introducing the information security. There are two lesson outcomes that we should achieve from this topic. First, to understand the importance of information technology security. And secondly, we should be able to identify the security environment and how to control the threats. It is important to understand what information security is. In general, the word security means the quality or state of being secure to be free from danger. A successful organization should have the multiple layers of security in place to protect its operations. Information security is one of multiple layers of security that needed to protect the information system and hardware that use, store and transmit that information. It is achieved via the application of policy, education, technology and also training and awareness. In Malaysia, security trends report by Cyber Security Malaysia show an increase in general incident classification. In 2015, we can see the incidence pattern is fluctuated, means change in, in every month. As everything connects to the internet, we become more and more vulnerable to cybercrime. In the next 20 years, so cyber crimes in the narrative can be broken down into the following categories brick and X, human malware, cyber assault, identity theft square, cyber jacking, cyber extortion, exploiting, and mini power outage. This phenomenal rise of connected technology as a clear target for cyber criminals looking to capitalize on their newfound access to business. Now, let's look at other implications on next generation crime. Now, what's next? It's time for people to stop thinking of cybercrime as something that only happens on a computer. With the rise of smart devices and the Internet of Things, IoT, the online black market as a multi-billion dollar industry and the widespread commercial markets for do-it-yourself hacking tools, cyber attack will become far more invasive, dangerous, and even physical. Three main security areas which are important to protect the data or information is detection, prevention, and recovery. These concepts relating to the tools used. The first area use scanner such as virus scanner, internet scanner, and web server scanner to make any detection. The prevention use proxy and firewall as a tools, and then the recovery use cryptography techniques as a proper planning to protect the data. The security architecture for OSI utilized by ITUT is implemented to define systematic way in building requirements for security by characterizing the multiple security approaches. It is useful to managers as a way of organizing the task of providing security. It focuses on security attack, security mechanisms, and security services. Security attack is any actions that compromise the security of information owned by an organization or person. Then, security mechanism is a mechanism that is designed to detect, prevent, or recover from a security attack. While security service is a service that enhances the security of the data processing systems and information transfers of an organization. This security architecture was developed as an international standard, computer and communications. We are now at the end of the session. Should you need more explanation about this topic, you can find related materials and resources from the following references. Well guys, we are at the last slide of this session. The next video would be on the topic of information security principle. Hope this sharing session has given you some new knowledge on the basic of information security. Anyone who wants to know more about this topic, don't hesitate to contact me. Okay, see you next time. Assalamualaikum and good day.